Welcome back to my channel. It's Sonora, aka the Southern Belle of the South Bronx. If you're new here, welcome. Today we have a new recipe video. We're making an onion dip, kind of like that Lipton onion dip you would get in the blue box. It comes in an envelope and you mix it in with some sour cream, except for this one. We're using fresh onions, fresh shallots. We're making like a caramelized pickled situation with some what? Some dairy-free sour cream. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with a small onion as well as two small shallots or as much onions or shallots if you just wanna use shallots or onions. It's really up to you. Make it as oniony as you like. We're gonna thinly, not too thin, just that size, whatever that size is, both the onion and the shallot we're gonna slice and then we're also gonna have the shallots and we're going to quarter the onions. I know I did that backwards. We just wanna make sure that everything is the same size so that it's bite sized inside of our dip. So now to caramelize the onions and the shallots, we're gonna take a skillet and we're gonna warm up some avocado oil and some dairy free butter. We wanna make sure everything is combined and we're gonna add our onions. Now this does take a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of patience because you wanna cook this on medium but you don't wanna burn this. We wanna cook our onions and our shallots very well so that they're softened, but they still have their structure and they begin to caramelize on their own. But eventually we are going to add a little bit of brown sugar, which you'll see me do here. So we'll add the sugar for added sweetness and I just like the depth of flavor that it adds to the caramelized onion, as well as some apple cider vinegar for some acidity. And this is what gives us that caramelized pickled onion that I mentioned earlier. We're gonna add that, give it a stir, and there we have our caramelized onion. Now let's get into this dip. Let's assemble. So we're going to use some Tolfetti sour cream. This is a dairy-free sour cream made out of tofu. It's the best tasting kind and it takes on whatever flavor that you put onto it. We're going to do some garlic powder, some onion powder, some pink peppercorn, as well as some black peppercorn, a bit of Himalayan salt, as well as some QP mayo. You can use vegan mayo if you want. This recipe is not vegan, it's just dairy-free. We're going to give everything a blend. We're gonna add some ghost pepper hot sauce. You can omit this, I just need spiciness and everything. And then there's our caramelized onions and shallots. We're gonna add that and a little bit of apple cider vinegar just for added acidity. And we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about an hour overnight is best, just so that it solidifies and the flavors really melt together. We're gonna make a little canal for some hot honey. I just like adding this, you don't need to do it, but I just love the sweet and savory aspect of this dip. And there you have it. All right, guys, isn't she gorgeous and she's dairy free? Let's get into the chips that we are going to use for our dip. You can use whatever you want. You wanna use pita chips, you wanna use a flatbread. You wanna put this in a sandwich, do it. So we have ube, which is a purple sweet potato. These are very good, they're chips. As always, I will link everything down below, the recipes, the links to the different items. Next, we have these rigid kettle chips from, I believe the name of the company is Boulder Canyon, and they're fried in avocado oil. They've become one of my favorite, like plain flavored kettle chips. They do have other flavored kettle chips, but I've only tasted the salted fried in avocado oil. And then, because I'm like, I need that extra oomph. Give me onion every place in the world. Just give it to me, just give me onions. We have the Deep River Sweet Maui Onion kettle chip because we want a thick chip for a delicious dip all right let me go on with old just old-fashioned salted chip and here's our dip get some of that hot honey Lipton who Lipton who Then we have our ube. It's a thicker cut than the potatoes, the regular potatoes, but the sweetness of the ube with this dip. And then, because I'm a bit of a savage, we're just gonna have some with a sweet onion Maui chip from Deep River. This is good. 
and I it, it tastes like the real sour cream thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe let me know if you'd like to see me make another dairy free chip for those people who can't digest dairy or for anyone because it tastes just like the real thing anywho may you always be blessed see you soon bye